Reading is for book five. Unit ten B. Element hunters. Hi guys, and welcome to a new episode on this channel. Today we will talk about the element hunters. So how about we get started? And now let's use my element detector. Found element. It's iron. Where? Here. Locating. Yeah, I guess so because this is iron. What is iron? Well, iron is an element itself. All the irons, all the iron atoms inside this, this bar, this rule over here, it's only made of iron atoms. Some of them are colored, as you might see. Some of them are like here. But also, it's just iron atoms. And these, this wood pencil, is made of the the atoms that create wood. What are atoms? Well, check out my hit. Well, I, I'm not gonna explain this. Well, the elements, the periodic table itself, and elements really need their own. Ha is so complex, in fact, that it needs its own video for it. So just check out my, check out my element videos and atom videos on this channel to learn more about them. All right. Once you watch that, come back to this video. Now let's just do a brief look. The periodic table of elements was created by this guy. This cool dude called Mendeleev and Me Mendeleev, Dmitry Mendeleev, who created all the el who put all the elements can have been discovered by his time in this one table. Now most of the elements on this table were actually filled with gaps, but still it will happen like that. And all the elements that have been naturally made were all the way from the first element hydrogen to the ninety second element uranium. Uranium is really radioactive, but however, it's still pretty good. <laughs> uh, and then the rest of the elements from the 93rd element to the 118 element had to be created man-made. It was man-made. And, and, and the higher the number of the elements as it was grouped got higher, the shorter it lived. However, a series suggested that there is one element, one enough element that can do it all. Where that it's a super nucleus. A super nucleus is a nucleus made of a lot of protons and neutrons that is pretty heavy. However, a lot of people. But once the super nucleus is heavier and heavier, it just it's its length of time to exist shortens. The more protons and neutrons, the shorter length of time it exists. But however, some people say that there's one magic number that says how many protons and neutrons to create a supernucleus where it can last for millions and millions of years. Firstly, it would last a few weeks, but then later it could gradually go into millions of years. That is an amazing discovery. Some people say now, not even one person in this world has been able to find it yet. However, that's because of that theory. A lot of people have been starting to create all these elements. But there should be an end to the periodic table, right? Well, there's an end. Probably an end to the periodic table. Uh, there's an element, hundred and twenty something, I believe, twenty four, twenty five. I don't really remember. But I heard that there was an element where, if you add just too many electrons, the electrons would have to go faster than the speed of light, and faster than the speed of light is impossible. So then, what if it was possible? Then it could exist. If the speed of if the speed of light faster than the speed of light could exist, then the periodic table can go infinitely. So, this is where I'll leave you. There's a lot of things I want to tell you more about this, but however, we don't have enough time in this video, so you can just go and watch my element videos and upcoming element videos, and also on periodic cable song. See you in the next episode. Shinhan out. Peace.